The condition is often called gastroduodenal disease and the ulcers that are symptomatic of this condition are called gastroduodenal ulcers. While there are numerous possible causes, these sores are most commonly caused by a bacterial infection within the gastric system of the cat and can result in abdominal discomfort, vomiting, and bleeding within the digestive tract and consequently in the feces. Pain is often worst when the stomach is empty or after consumption of fatty or spicy foods. Both the ulcers and the underlying cause will need to be treated under the supervision of a veterinarian. Stomach and intestinal ulcers also referred to as gastric ulcers, are open sores that develop on the mucous membranes that line the stomach and small intestines. These sores are then exposed to stomach acid, which can be painful. Causes of stomach and intestinal ulcers in cats. There are several possible causes of gastric ulcers in cats but the most common are the following. Bacterial infection of the digestive tract, usually by one of the many variations of bacteria called heliobacter, which studies have shown is exceedingly common in the gastrointestinal system of cats. Sustained use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Stress caused by surgery, injury, or shock. Various intestinal parasites. Underlying diseases such as renal, or kidney, failure, hypovolemia, which is low blood plasma, inflammatory bowel disease, or cancer. Symptoms and types. There are many symptoms that can develop as a result of gastroduodenal ulcers, of which some may remain undetected until the cat's condition becomes severe. For instance, cats are less likely to show clinical evidence of gastrointestinal bleeding. The following are some of the more common symptoms. Anemia. Weakness. Weight loss. Loss of appetite. Rapid heart rate. Vomiting, most often seen. Blood in vomiting, hematemesis. Black terry stool due to the presence of digested blood, melina. Abdominal pain, animal may stand in a praying position. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code kittenlife to get 20% off. Diagnosis. Your veterinarian will take a detailed history and after conducting the physical examination on your cat, routine laboratory testing will be carried out. Complete blood count, biochemistry profile, and urinalysis can help in diagnosing this problem along with complications if any. Blood testing, for example, may reveal anemia in patients with bleeding, whereas in cases with chronic blood loss, iron deficiency anemia may be seen. In some cats, decreased number of platelets, cells important for blood clotting and white blood cells may be seen. Fecal material is also analyzed to see if blood is present in it or not, while abdominal x-rays and ultrasounds assist in diagnosing any foreign body, mass in the stomach, or duodenum. In the case of a tumor, a thoracic x-ray may help in finding the metastasis of the tumor to the lungs. Endoscopy, a procedure in which a veterinarian will look directly into the stomach and duodenum using an endoscope, is the method of choice for definitive diagnosis. In addition, Endoscopy allows the veterinarian to remove any foreign bodies and take a biopsy. A rigid or flexible tube will also be inserted in the stomach and duodenum in order to take photographs. Treatment One thing pet owners need to be wary of when starting treatment for dogs or cats with stomach ulcers is rebound hyperacidity. Often, when long-term treatment with either an H2 blocker or a proton pump inhibitor medicine is discontinued, gastric cells produce acids and enzymes at an increased rate which can worsen the condition. Gradual tapering of these medications is often needed once symptoms have been controlled. The ultimate goal is to treat the underlying cause while easing the cat's symptoms. However, gastroduodenal ulcers are sometimes associated with hemorrhaging, shock, or severe abdominal infection. In these cases, intensive care is required until the cat becomes stable. Fluids are given to maintain body fluid levels and in some patients, a blood transfusion may be required to overcome the deficit caused by extensive bleeding. If the bleeding continues, your veterinarian may infuse ice water in the cat's stomach for 20 to 30 minutes to help in stopping the bleeding. Surgery may also be required in cats with perforated stomach or intestinal ulcers, or if tumors are present. Recovery of stomach and intestinal ulcers in cats. Depending upon how critical your cat's condition was at the time of diagnosis, your cat may need to stay at the veterinary hospital overnight or for several days for hydration, observation, and treatment. Your cat's prognosis is dependent upon the underlying cause of the ulcers. The prognosis is usually not very good for cats that have developed ulcers due to cancer or kidney failure, 
However, cats that have developed ulcers because of bacterial infections, gastrointestinal parasites, or nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs usually have a positive prognosis after 6 to 8 weeks of treatment. Your veterinarian may perform periodic endoscopies to measure your cat's progress. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.